Hello, and welcome to the latest SES newscast. I'm your anchor, Coach Spartan Spirit. Well, hello. It's great to see all you Spartans out there. I don't know if you realize it, but as coaches, we do lots of encouraging on something called cooperation which happens to be your latest character strong treat. So, my friends, I think it's time to turn to little Spartan Stanley and see where he's hiding this week. Where in the school is little Stanley Spartan? Can you guess where I am this time? Oh, Stanley, always finding the best hiding places. All right, my friends, it's time for our SES tour. We're going to go over to you guys out on the recess playground. It sure looked like you guys were having lots of fun out there. That makes us coaches pretty happy. All right, it is time for our principal, Mrs. Lowinger, for the latest. Good evening, Miss Spartan Spirit. I want to talk to the families tonight about recess. We've been getting lots of questions about that. Recess does not look like recess used to look at Stanwood Elementary, but it sure is fun. We are going outside or to the gym with our own cohort of kids. We have an adult signed to every classroom. They go out with the same adult every time. They have a designated place where they play. It might be in the gym or on the play structure, in the grass or on the hard top. And they play things like games that they've learned in PE. They play jump rope hopscotch, um, they do bubbles and sidewalk chalk. We have recess bags that our PTO has generously provided for all the students and they have brought some things to fill their sacks that they like to use at recess, like hacky sacks, their own jump rope. Uh, some of them bring their own chalk, hot wheels, things like that. Uh, those have been a lot of fun and uh, though Recess does look quite different than it used to. Uh, it's been fun to see how creative the students have been getting and how tight the bond is that they're they're forming with the students that are in their cohort. So that's it for now, Miss Spartan Spirit. It's back to you. Thanks so much, Coach Lawinger. It was great hearing from you. All right, it's time for our counseling corner with a little pep talk from Mrs. Redding. <laughs> Hi Spartan friends, Ms. Redding here. I hope you all had a wonderful spring break and now we're back in school and getting ready to just finish up the year. And sometimes this time of year is a little hard for people because we're tired. This has been a challenging year with lots of changes in the way we do things is very different from how we have ever done them before. So I thought it might be helpful to have a pep talk. I needed a pep talk, so I am going to share a pep talk with you. This is by Kid President, and he's going to start out the pep talk saying, don't be boring. I am not saying, and he is not saying that you are boring, but this is a pep talk about making most the most of your life and achieving your dreams. And one of the ways we know, the best way I know for you to be able to achieve your dreams is to get a good education so that you can function in the world and follow the path that you want to take. And so you have choices in life. So here's kid president. I hope you enjoy him and have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye. The world needs you to stop being born. 
Yeah, you boring is easy. Everybody can be boring, but you're good at that. Life is not a game, people. Life is not a cereal either. Well, it is a cereal. And if life is a game, are we all on the same team? I mean, really, right? I'm on your team. Be on my team. This is life, people. You got air coming through your nose. You got heartbeat. That means it's time to do something. A poem. Two roads diverged in the woods, and I took the road less traveled. It hurt, man! Really bad. Rocks, thorns, and glass? My pirates broke! Wah! Not cool, Robert Frost! But what if they were in order to pass? I won't be in the one that leads to awesome. It's like that dude Journey said. Don't stop believing. Unless you dream a secret. Then you should get a better dream. I think that's how it goes. Get a better dream and keep going. Keep going, keep going, and keep going. What Michael Jordan have quit? Well, he didn't quit. No, he retired. Yeah, that's he retired. But before that, in high school, what if he quit when he didn't make the team? You have never made Space Jam. And I love Space Jam. What will be your Space Jam? What will you create will make the world awesome? Nothing if you keep sitting there. That's why I'm talking to you today. This is your time. This is my time. It's our time. We can make every day better for each other. If we're all on the same team, let's start acting like it. We got work to do. We can cry about it or we can dance about it. You are made to be awesome. Let's get out there. I don't know everything. I'm just a kid. But I do know this. So everybody's do the gift the world and reason to dance. So get to it. Mrs. Redding, that was a great video. I always love hearing from Kid President. He is so full of wisdom and encouragement. All right, we're going to check in with another coach at SES, our very own PE teacher, Mr. Nijman. He has some words on cooperation. Yay! Hello, Stanwood Elementary School students. As you may know, for the month of May, our word of the month is cooperation. Cooperation means working together to make things work well. And in PE, you can probably think of a number of different games we do that requires cooperation. And we wanna make sure we follow the rules so the game is fun. And you can probably think of some other activities outside of PE that require cooperation. So it's nice seeing you. Let's enjoy the month of May. Take care, bye. Wow, Coach Nigerman, you are so right. We use cooperation all the time in our games and in PE, on the playground. All right, my friends, it is time to check in with you guys, our SES Spartans, for some encouragement and words of wisdom on cooperation. As a definition for cooperation, cooperation is communicating with each other in a fluent fashion. Cooperation, what it means to me is that you're not mean and you are like being nice to people and you are like helping. I'll be telling you what cooperation is. I can't say it. Um, cooperation. Cooperation means a certain amount of people are either working together or trying to do a certain goal. Cooperation is when a group of people work on something together, like thinking of a new song or making a building or bridge. It, cooperation is just when people have different suggestions and find a way to use them. <laughs> So it's people working together. Wow, you guys really do know a thing or two about cooperation, don't you? I think you've practiced it a time or two. All right, it is time for Joke of the Week. 
I have a joke. What do you say to a fancy cactus? Hey, you look sharp. <laughs> you guys always come up with the best jokes. All right, it is time to check in with little Stanley Spartan and see where he's hiding this week. Oh, Stanley, over at the Lost and Found, huh? I think that's a good place for all of us to go check out since I think many of us have misplaced some things. It's getting pretty full. All right, my friends, it's time to wrap up our newscast for this week. Until next time, I'm Coach Miss Spartan Spirit.